Welcome to the Steven Starsky Show. Nice to see you guys again. My name is Steve. My name is Starsky. And today we have an amazing, oh God, I got goose pimples. Come on, man, stop, man. Word. This is my man. This is your favorite DJ's DJ. Favorite DJ. DJ Doughboy. What's good, everybody? We're shaking out there. <laughs> no. Come on, Puff. Come on, man. Come on, man. What kind of podcast we is We're going to get in this shit. Today, we're going to talk about relationships. We're going to talk about our point of views on how we see men versus women. And the thing is, hopefully that we have a, a good audience of women out there. Because I know a lot of my friends always ask, ask about, ask me about, like, how those men view things and you know why do men see things this way and whatever and this is going to be a one-sided conversation in a way but we're going to be very objective in our own opinion i guess yeah you know what i mean objective but the thing is though it is a conversation for us to have for you to see kind of like what guys talk about when no one else is around so we're going to let you in to be a fly on the wall of what's going down all right let's get, let's this. get this going let's get with this shit, so, oh. you know? give me a pound uh, What'd you uh, say? You said something. You said something. Uh, uh, talk to me, you bro. said something recently about how uh, nature. Oh yeah. What is it? I don't oh yeah, nature miss don't get. Okay, there's me, there's a nature of man, mm -hmm. and there's the, the the law of man. Right. Nature don't give a shit about man's law. Nature just want to make sure there are reprod like the the that species survive. Continues. Nature don't give continues. a shit about yeah. marriage. Nature don't give a shit about. Right. Nature says a, a kid, girl could have right. a kids could have a guy a girl could have a baby at eleven and twelve, right, right. and a kid could see that at thirteen or whatever. Right, right. You know what I mean? We're saying, and, and I'm not, and I'm saying I'm down with nature's law. That's not what I'm talking about. Don't don't because people right. just say that they're two different. They're two, two different, different things. Mm -hmm. And the funny thing is, the younger you are when you have a kid, the more safer the pregnancy is because you're stronger, you're younger. Yeah, yeah. The older you get, the more you know shit gets a little yeah, questionable yeah, yeah. and all yeah. kinds. You know what I'm saying? But mm -hmm. the thing is, it's about what things really are, mm -hmm. and we don't see things for what they really are. Right. We are being, we are being raised and geared to a certain specific way of things, yeah, yeah, yeah. which is fine. That's fine. But there's still nature. Right. And nature rolls. Regardless. Regardless. Right. It doesn't even care right. about us. So, you know, we, we get into, you know, I always talk about, like, I'm married. Right, mm -hmm. and we always talk about marriage, and, and and the older I get, I'm like, I don't understand why we do that. Right, because to think you're going to be attracted to one person for the rest of your life is absolutely ridiculous. Right, you know what I mean? But, well, yeah, well, all right, no, attracted to. Hold on, hold on, whoa, 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 whoa. Yeah, to or think you, that you will be attracted to one person exclusively, yes, right. for the rest of your life, right. yes, is ridiculous. Ridiculous, right? That's ridiculous. Yes, because you can Thanks be for the attracted clarification. to someone, right. Exclusive, not, not exclusively, but you can think someone is fine every time you say it. Oh, absolutely. Right. There are certain people that I think are fine every Period. time I absolutely. see Absolutely. Absolutely. Now, will they be the finest person In the ever? Moment? Right, right. No. Of course not. But so, there's, cer there's certain people that I have in my life, I'm thinking about one right now, that, that I just think, like, artistically, like, mm -hmm. they're just very... Just visually... Visually, like, oh, appealing. God, I yeah. love yeah. that. I mean, I work in a school yeah. club, so, yeah, I get it. Yeah. I mean... Yeah, is is, is uh, our audience or are, 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 they have that clearance level to know this about you? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, with the shit. <laughs> That's what I'm here for. Son. What the shit? Let's <laughs> get <Okay. laughs> I, I DJ. There's, I no, rap, there's I no PG though, boy. It's like, there's no, like, it's like, I'm in the strip club. I got no, chicks that wear I love those shorts on their ass. I'm with the shit. Yeah. Let's get it. I don't think my clearance level is up. To yeah, school. yeah, y'all might as well get y'all shit right. But. but I don't think I don't. I think I think like as far as the conversation of marriage goes, like we, in very very recent history, like as recent as commercial advertising, mm -hmm. people started to romanticize marriage. Mm -hmm. Like getting married has plenty of sound reasons. The idea is no marriage for love is a new idea yes, and it's a yeah. farce. The, the, 
Yes. Yeah. The, 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 the idea is noble, but we're not trained really in our daily lives to really fulfill that pure idea of what marriage is supposed to be. I right. don't think not, that anybody is trained in their, dear, in, in their lives to embody any of the idealistic concepts that anyone has. I think mm. when, when you do that, I think it's all bullshit anyway. Yeah, Jesus. You set up for hey, yeah. uh, it's funny because a friend of mine, I, he'll remain nameless. I'm with uh, you. Yeah, yeah, I'm yeah, not yeah. trying to put yeah, yeah, my yeah, homies yeah. out there. Yeah. Pulled me to the side and said, look, marriage is a business mm -hmm. in almost every sense of the word. Marriage is a business. Mm -hmm. It's contracts. When you breach contracts, there are penalties. Mm -hmm. This is business. He was like, the That's love sad. thing is really cool. But at the end of the day, it's business. Right. And I had to really like peep game and understand that, yeah, it is a business. Because if you breach your marriage, mm. the shit becomes business, brother. Yeah, mm. yeah, yeah. You mm -hmm. run right to the lawyers, my G. So there, there is a lot of business aspects that come yeah. to marriage, uh, will come when it comes to being married or, you know, planning to do that. And you're right, marriage for love is a new concept. Mm -hmm. Well, the whole thing is, too, um, love. Love is something I question if we even know how to do that, for real. Mm. Yeah, like, do you we know understand? Like we say, I, mean, I mean, are we mm. feeling love or is it infatuation? <coughs> right. Excuse me. You know what I mean? Right. Like, like I, me. I know at this stage in the game, like, I know, like, like, my, like I love my wife. That's mm -hmm. my homegirl. Mm -hmm. but, but, but there's so many, like, I, you know, I always say that, you know, she's my wife. She's not my wife first. Mm -hmm. She's my wife fifth. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? She's a she's she's her own woman. She's a daughter. Mm -hmm. You know, she's she's a, a couple other things before she becomes my wife. All right. And then you know, the, I think the problem we get into when you throw the Bible in there and say, well, you know, the Bible says to you know you know put away all childish things, become your, a man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm like, yo, that's what it says, but we don't do that. No, we don't. Do that. We don't do that. Even if you put the best effort, you 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 start the blocks real tight, but then all of a sudden your form gets yeah. messed up, and then you you trip on the. You know I, I mean, because I mean, we all hypocrites a little bit. Yeah, but because we're all raised hypocritical. I mean, mm -hmm. because self-preservation is the first law of man, so therefore you mm -hmm. will always change the rules when they come to benefit you. Mm -hmm. Oh, this is getting real. That, that's just... I'm not ready. That's just it. I'm you not know ready. What I'm saying? So when it comes to these things, these, these concepts, love being uh, one of them, we're always going to play to those concepts when they're in our favor. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, one of the main reasons we got Doe here, because Doe, me, and Star, we go back a long time. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And when we get to talking, man, we talk about relationships with women, how we see women, you know, and not, not on no uh, trash and stuff, just, just what we have experienced as young men our, in the world. Our genuine world. personal experiences. Yeah, genuine yeah. personal experiences. And you know the funny thing is, like, like, like I get so, like, because I get into, I love, this is one of my favorite subjects, relationships. Mm -hmm. I think relationships fascinate me. Mm -hmm. Absolutely fascinates me. And, and there's a saying that says um, um, everything's about sex, mm. except for sex. Mm. Sex is about power. Mm. So if you take the middleman out, everything's about power. Mm -hmm. Yes. Right? That's what, that's what well, that term is. Everything is about power. Everything is about power. Mm -hmm. Cross board. Everything, everything is about power. power. So, so the thing is, too, like I hear women say stuff like, um, you know, see, why do men do this or why do men do that? I'm like, yo, all men don't do that. All men don't do that. The thing is, as a person, you have to really check your experience of how you view the opposite sex. Because it's not about just men or women. It's just like if you're a young man, mm -hmm. right, mm -hmm. you have to really understand how you view your mom mm -hmm. or the females in your life. And mm -hmm. your dad. And your dad. Mm -hmm. but, but, but when it comes to, your, and your dad. Yeah. But when it comes to how you see women, I think the first, the first stopping point is the woman. Because your father could say anything he wants, really. But if she shows a different no, no, example. No. I don't mean your dad as a father. I mean how your mom is treated. By your father. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's like, important. Like, this is the oh, archetype. Yeah, 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 My yeah. mom is archetype. Yes. And I saw how she allowed herself to be treated. Yes. Whether it was to elevate her or to diminish her, yes. I saw that in my mom. So right. either I'm going to so emulate you that or... look at the woman and then look at the relationships the woman has had that has shaped her experience. Yeah, yeah. Absolutely. That's, that's heavy. Absolutely. And you know the thing is that, 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 that bothered me when someone like, yeah, but that ain't got nothing to do with anything. I'm like, dude, everything, everything got something to do with everything. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. Stop it. Yeah. yeah. 
You know, that's yeah, that's that's connected. like that's like that's like you 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 meet some girl that got you know molested when she was young. How you expect her to, to trust men at any point without yeah. that's that's a part of your foundation. Yeah. And I think that's the problem we have in our life. We don't assess what our foundations are, mm -hmm. you know, and how it affected us. Definitely. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. And and, and I think that we make a big and, and the thing is, yo, if you are if you are like I, I I know, like I got a lot of good female friends. Right, and I got some friends that I mean, looks ain't got nothing to do with it. Sexy mm -hmm. as hell, but I tell them, yo, you are trouble. Yeah, 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 and, yeah. And they think it's okay. Right, right. No, yeah. it's not okay. It's yeah. not okay. <laughs> I got friends I wouldn't date to save my oh, life. Right, right, right. Oh my god, but love them. Yeah, they cool. Love them dearly. Oh yeah. Cool but like, I would never date them right. to save my life. Yeah. I got some female friends who are fuck boy magnets. You could put ten motherfuckers, you ten motherfuckers, yeah. good guy to fuck boy. Right. They're gonna take this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh yeah. No matter what it yeah. is, yeah. it's just yeah. what they're attracted to. Yeah. That's what they like. Right. That's what they enjoy. And then they cry and moan about being abused by fuck boys. But it's just. But if you go back, but if you go back, and nine out of ten times, if you go back to that female's history, I'm sure there was no strong male presence in her life. Not necessarily. Mm, nine out of ten. What do you mean? What do you mean by strong? Just, just, just set a good example. When you say strong, you mean exemplary. It, well, just a good example of what a male could be. It's a, look. Talk to me. Because it's it's you, algebra. Like it's all variables. I so, get it. So the strong male example, depending on the lens she's seeing it through, she might have seen him as a fuckboy. When she sees, when say she saw her father, mm -hmm. right? taking care of his wife, way. providing for his wife, protecting his wife, giving his wife all the things she needs. And, and mom is a bitch. Mm -hmm. She sees him as weak. She sees him as a sucker. Yes, I get that. Yeah. I get that. What is up with that? I get that. Because it goes back to what you just said. It's about power. Yeah. Huh? You know what I'm saying? Like, it's, it's, it goes into power. See, we, and I've been, I've been having this conversation with a bunch of people. Some people only respect power and ramifications. Mm -hmm. Some people don't respect justice, uh, generosity, Balance. kindness. Right. Ba Some people just don't respect dude, that shit. When you swinging at me, let me know where you're coming at. You, you know, like, <laughs> dude. That's just real. Yeah. That's just real. Some people don't respect that shit. Right. They only respect. Justice and kindness. They don't. They don't. Right. They only respect power and ramifications. Most of us are not good people. We are well behaved. And it yeah. is a difference. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it, it's just the truth. <laughs> God and it, that sounds so harsh. That sounds it's real, so though. It's harsh. True. But if you take the majority of people and say, all right, we'll take out all of the ramifications for your negative right. behavior. They would do all they kinds do it of all. fuck shit. They it would do be it all. anarchy in this motherfucker. It would be the purge. Motherfuckers be running up in people's houses, mm -hmm. robbing, killing, mm -hmm. stealing, doing all kind of wild shit. The reason most people don't is because they fear the ramifications right. of their actions. Right. You see what I'm saying? So when you have a man who is kind, generous, thoughtful, mm -hmm. and all of that with someone who doesn't respect that shit, they get ran over and treated like a lame. And that's what you were just saying. So, yeah. so if this, she saw her father be all of these things and she saw her mother run him, all of those traits are now associated with being a sucker. Right. So whenever she runs into somebody who is good like that, she'll run his ass the same way her mother ran her father. And then at the same time, you look at like those type of people also are attracted to people that make them chase them. You know what I'm saying? Like, if you're too attentive, oh. well, she, she well, don't got time. We're just wasting time running, chasing our own tails with that nonsense. So, we listen to too much R&B. <laughs> yeah. That's way too much R&B going on around here. So. Yo, try, listen, yo, y'all know, y'all know me personally. Y'all know the people I've dated. Mm -hmm. Y'all know the people I fucked with. I was the teddy bear. I was the giant yeah, teddy bear, yeah, yeah. son. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Everybody know that. All my poetry was about motherfuckers, y'all know. All the whole <laughs> shit. The whole shit. And if it wasn't for the camera, I would name names. Y'all know how to get down. I'm just a fuck. 
<laughs> Yo, in almost every case, yeah. I got ran over thinking I was doing the right thing by giving a certain amount oh, hey, of power. Hey, let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. Me and so I was talking about this the other day. When you, sometimes like, when I was young, I was like, yo, these dudes would be playing chicks. Yo, they fucked up. But now I think they're the geniuses. Because when you try to be a good dude, they don't respect you that. You gotta shit. have balance. It's gotta be a balance. I'm generalizing, but. It's but you gotta, it's gotta be, it's like, it's what it's you do, and is it harmonious with the other person? Yeah. But, but the, the you thing can is. You do the too, right thing for the wrong person, you did the wrong thing. Wow. Can I steal I'm not that? Prepared. It's yours. <laughs> yo. <laughs> you can I steal that from right? you? <laughs> <laughs> Person, you did the wrong, wrong thing. thing. Yeah. Holy shit. That, that right? just came off the dome right there. Or you okay. said that before. I'm just saying, oh, it came off the dome. Yo, think about like, you ever see that like, hot, dude. you ever see like clips of like, uh, if you did the right thing for the somebody's wrong a good Samaritan wrong, fuck. to somebody who's a swindler. Yeah, you know yeah. what I'm saying? It's like, you did the wrong, you gave the thief the goods. <laughs> So well, technically, it's, it's the same thing. thing. You did when, the wrong thing. It's, it's the same thing when you hear somebody saying somebody like giving them CPR, chest compression, they break a rib, and then they go sue the person that saved yeah, their yeah. life. What kind of bullshit is that? Yeah. This like, is what the fuck what, is wrong with you? Right. This is what I. Like, know. I don't even that's understand, the, dude. You would be dead if this motherfucker but did not save your life. I keep right. going back to saying that most people aren't inherently good. Right, right, right. Because he knew that he could get away with suing the man that saved his life. With very little or no ramifications. Like, it, it's, it's fucked up. Can you but imagine this, that? But you always have to understand oh. it, that most people are, are good or, or kind because they think that they're going to get something in return. They benefit from yeah. it. There you go. Yeah, like, like you said, good and a good person, just a flat good person, is about ideologies. All right, so it's like kindness, justice, all those things that are not, you have to create a reward or a ramification behind that thing. Like there's a reason to have faith. There's a reason to be kind. If you need a reason, then you're not naturally a kind person. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Do you think people are naturally kind? I think people are naturally dynamic. I think we're just amalgamations and, and whether, whether it's our influences, our experiences, the, the information dynamic. we take in. We dynamic. We're multifaceted. A, well, we're, we're all the things. Okay. Like, like I said, I, I, I genuinely believe that we are all the things. Right. I'm, There's I'm a portion of us that's something, everything. everything. I absolutely believe I am. that you was something one of my teachers told me in college. Okay. He said, you know, we think that everyone is innocent, even though, you know, that isn't necessarily what is portrayed in real life. He said, well, they said, what about babies? Babies are innocent. He said, yeah, babies are only innocent because they're small. What if you had a 300 pound baby? He would strangle his mommy and daddy to get milk and cookies. Mm. I said, holy shit. Right. So even in the most innocent of spaces, self-preservation will always rear its head. That's one of the reasons I love The Dark Knight so much if you ever watched that movie mm -hmm. uh, with Heath, Leather, Heath Ledger's Joker character. Yeah. He's dead on the money. For the right price, motherfuckers will switch on you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The, yeah. Yo, no matter what it is, for the right price, the right circumstances, right. whether it's money, whether yeah. it's survival, right, right. shit get weird. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This shit just got dark. Yeah, 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 I told you. <laughs> but it's true, though. It's the truth. I know. I like, know. It's shit get weird. So you got to always understand that, man. You know what I mean? And you can't really be so upset when certain shit get weird. Mm -hmm. You know what? I was talking to my, one of my boys from back in the day. <laughs> and we were talking about the old days when I used mm -hmm. to do my shit or whatever. Mm -hmm. And he said, and he said, um, he said, Steve, you know what you're, when I used to look at you, you know what you are? I said, what? He said, you're a true believer. Mm. Like, I believed in what I was doing. Yes. Yeah, 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 yeah. And he yes. said, and, and, but then I'm like, fuck. But, but that doesn't serve me, though, in the long run. Because yeah, others, yeah. you got to have others being true believers also. Right. Because yeah. if you're the only true believer in your flock, you're going to lose. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. Yeah. You know what I mean? I was like, because the thing is, when I come and do something, I'm doing it because... I believe in the people around me, and that's what it is. Like I, I, and right. I'm assuming the people around me have the same type of outlook. Right. 
and they could have a variation of that outlook. Right. Yeah. You know what I mean? Maybe I'm on nine and three quarters, they're on right. six and two fourths. Right, right, right. But something, something. You know what I mean? You believe that they're like minded. Right. In yeah. Sense, uncertain. Yeah. In, in some kind of way. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> no, I can definitely say that. You are extremely passionate when it comes to what you. To, to yours, to you mm-hmm. and yours. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And, and, you know, that's gangster. Yeah. That's, but that's how you're supposed to be. Suppose. That's how you're supposed to be. Don't flow when reality, it, though. No, no, reality. You know what I'm saying? No, it's no, just, no. just like what my man said, when you do the right thing for the, the wrong, wrong person, you do oh, the you wrong def- thing. Def- you've done, sure done the wrong done thing. Done the right thing <laughs> for the wrong motherfucker. Yeah, yeah, so I've done the wrong thing many a time. Yeah. <laughs> but Damn, I mean, Starcy, thank you. Thank you. Let me call my therapist. Stop. But in most cases, that's how you're supposed to be. So if you dig somebody, you you should be passionate about that. You should want to give. You should want to you know put all of your effort or the majority of your effort into that. The issue is there has to be a certain level of reciprocity. Right. And sometimes we have the rose-colored glasses on. Yeah. And we don't pay attention to the signs that things are not being reciprocated. Or yeah. we realize things are not being reciprocated and we just think they're gonna get better. And it's like putting money yeah. into a used car. Yeah. A lot of us do that. Yeah. We just what do you, keep throwing money into the used car. Yeah. And, yeah, 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 yeah. You know, thinking you're gonna make it run again and you know, you know, this shit don't run. I wonder about that though. I wonder if reciprocity is even what we should be looking for. I don't think I'm thinking as I'm talking, I think reciprocity can create a problem for us because it's it's always a volley. Of course. Like, this, like we need, I think of it like a piano or like music, right? Mm-hmm. Harmony is harmony. You don't have to play a certain note first for this note to work with it. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? They work together. Reciprocity is like, it's, um, yeah, it's like because I did, it's like we're creating this currency and my currency is how I value my energy, my time, my effort, my, mm. my resource, whatever I did. Mm-hmm. And you need to meet to the level that I value it. You need to meet it. Mm-hmm. You know, and if you, you know, once you meet it, then I can do something else. But you have your own value system. Mm-hmm. So, and that's why we end up in like these like. But that's when things are just, are not harmonious. Right. You know what I'm saying? I mean, that, that for you got to have something, some sort of similar value system right. for things to be harmonious. Right. I don't think that anybody in here wants to invest anything for very little return. Right. Period. Right, right, right. I don't think we want to invest time, money, and things in our career and not get anything in return. I, don't, I think all of us are smart enough to be investing financially. We're not going right. to invest financially into anything that's not going to get a return. Right. I don't think we're doing this podcast thinking nobody's going to watch this right, shit. Right, right, right. We're just going to do it because we look good on a white fucking mm-hmm. background. Yeah. We do it. We do everything yeah. Yeah. as an investment. As an investment. investment. So I, I, if I, but, but what, sorry to cut yeah, you off. Ahead. But what I mean by we need to elevate harmony instead of reciprocity is when it's, if I come to the table in a relationship mm-hmm. and I'm like, yo, I am digging shorty. Mm-hmm. And so the person that I am, I'm going to, I'm go, I'm gonna go, mm-hmm. right? So I'm gonna give the things, I'm gonna give the time, I'm gonna give, I'm gonna ha- you're gonna have these experiences, you're gonna have these things, mm-hmm. great. I also need to be walking to the table with a clear understanding of what I need back. Of course. Mm-hmm. Now, whether I communicate that or not, if I don't get what I need, it's not even about that you matched what I did. Yeah. Because my wants and needs are, are different. They're separate, right. They're different. But, but if you can do that, then we'll have harmony. But that's still reciprocity because you gave her something that she needed and you received something you needed. It may not be, you, all right. It may not be one to one. It may not be one to one. Say, I may have money. Right. I, you know, I, I've always told any woman that I've dated, you're not gonna be able to match me dollar for dollar. Right. Don't try. Right. You know what I'm saying? So. Damn. <laughs> uh, your strip club pays nice. So <laughs> that's not what I want from right. you. So I would never wow. uh, 
ask for that as reciprocity. Right. I need you to rock with me from over here. Right. Right. So, right. so what we're talking about is pretty much the same mm -hmm. thing. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's harmony, but I'm just saying return my energy in right. whichever way right. that works for you. Energy. I energy. Like that. Yeah. 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 The, re <laughs> the reciprocation yeah, yeah. of energy, yeah, yeah, yeah. not money, uh, goods not the and commodity. Services. No, the, but energy. the energy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, I ain't never had a chick write me no poem. Well, no, I have had chicks write me poems. But, uh, <laughs> like, not no, right. no shit that I was doing. No, like, you know yeah. what I'm saying? Like, we was on you, stage yeah. on some Love Jones right. shit. You right. know what I'm saying? Like, I can't expect any of my exes mm -hmm. to do that. Right. You know what I'm saying? But I've had individuals or chicks I deal with do some really monumental mm -hmm. things on, on a, in another space. Right, right. Where I'm like, yo. Yeah. And that's why it worked. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that was that's where the harmony was. Right. I, I you can't really keep school. I, I I like to you but you can tell when the energy is lacking. Yes. Just cross board. Yeah. You you don't need to be a fucking rocket yeah. scientist to tell when somebody's not really rocking with you. Yo, yeah, it don't take much. You you, you know much. when somebody said no when they could have said yes. And that no can mm. take various forms. Yeah. But you could have said yes and you said no. Well, silence says a whole lot. Right. No answer says right. a whole lot, too. Right. Yes. I'm curious. Go ahead, go ahead. Sorry. Yeah, I'm just processing a lot of shit. <laughs> Yo. Yo, no, you know, you know what the funny thing is, man? Yeah, the funny thing is, it amazes me. Like, we, we, talk, we have this other thing. Mm -hmm. I don't want you to lose your thought. No, I'm good. We have this thing about how, we generally speaking, that men are logical. Mm -hmm. yeah, women are yeah. emotional. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, yeah. We talk about this. And the funny thing is we talk, me and Sarsen was talking about this one day how logic has rules. Yes, yes. Emotions have no rules. No, right. No. And like even in my own personal experiences, I don't understand you tell me you want a thing, but your actions is counterproductive to that thing you want. Right. Yeah. You can't tell me like, I would say in general, mm -hmm. you can't tell me like say, oh, um, I want to spend more time with you. I want to be more romantic or whatever, but you can't be barking every five fucking minutes about some other <laughs> shit. <laughs> yeah, some stuff that you're yeah. like. But a lot of that is right? because in emotional spaces, that's what's paramount. They they they're in that mm -hmm. space. But but the I get, dude, yeah. I get that. Yeah. But yeah. the problem is. It seems that, and I'm not, I'm not talking yeah. about just my person. I'm, I'm just talking, talking about when about I'm talking forward. to my, forward. Talk, forward. when I'm even talking about my, my, my female friends, I'm like, dude, this girl, one of my homegirls, tight homegirls, was seeing this dude, liked him, he liked her, but he, I think he wanted to go a little bit more slower pace. And, but she was ready to take to that next level. Mm -hmm. So she gets getting her attitude, because she's a, she's a saucy chick. So... He was driving out one day, and before he got to her corner, she did something, pissed him off. He just pulled the car and said, yo, get out. Mm -hmm. get, get the fuck out. Mm -hmm. Get the fuck out. And she's like, what? Get the fuck out of the car. Mm -hmm. This dude proceeds to go to the hospital because he was having palpitations. Mm -hmm. A couple weeks later, he wrote her a letter, and I'm trying to explain to her that, yo, this dude really cared about it because he took the time to write you a letter. Yeah. Then she said, why, did, why didn't he call me when he was in the hospital? I'm like, motherfucker, you're the reason he went to the hospital. So he still owe you? Why the fuck would he call you? <laughs> you're the right. reason he went to the fucking hospital. But it's like, it's like this, it's like there is a lack of understanding of connection of events that eludes me that why it's, I'm generalizing, but that the females just don't understand. It's like, dude, there is they only see right now, right, right here. In front of them <laughs> and what they feel. So because, all right, just in general, negative <laughs> emotions yeah. will register higher than positive. True. I, I, I'm, I can't find no Register in what way, though? More intense than positive ones. If yeah. I give you a compliment, you'll be like, all right, thanks. If right. I say something fucked up to you, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. it's going to register differently. Yeah. So yeah, yeah, yeah. those emotions yeah, 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 that, yeah. that women have <laughs> that are negative will register way higher. So him having a goddamn heart attack <laughs> did not register <laughs> as high as him not calling. Right. <laughs> right. Yo, right. Real, real shit. Real <laughs> shit. And that sounds crazy. Yeah. But that's no. real shit. No. Him about to fucking die. No, <laughs> I'm not prepared. Did for not this. register. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll talk about that. But why did he call me? 
Yeah. And that's heavy. I mean, I'm not, because I'm not ready for this. <laughs> those, those emotions, <laughs> it, it's, it's, it kind of what's read. So what you're saying is just hopeless. You just ain't fucking all. What you get into? You just think we should just get in the car. Listen, we should get in the car, top down, Thelma Louise, the whole shit, just go off the cliff. Fuck it all. I didn't say that, but I'm just saying, like, you gotta understand what you're working with. See, the problem is we tend to think that we're living in this utopian kind of society where all of the great beautiful concepts are the ones that are the okay. most prevalent in our lives and that's bullshit mm -hmm. we really have to All understand right. where and what situations we really live right. in so i try to be very conscious of how i act how what i say you know what i mean i try to be very conscious about that because i know you can't my boy my boy db says steve you can't unfuck something yes right yes that's a deeper statement than it sounds. Right. Yes. You know what I mean? So, but the thing is, when you say something, even if you apologize for it, it's, it's on record. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's on record. That energy is out there. Yeah, it's yeah, out yeah, there. Yeah. It's on record. And, 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 it's, and, and you got to a point where you were able to say that freely. Mm -hmm. And that's how you really felt. And that's how you really felt. Mm -hmm. yeah. So I'm the type of dude, like once I say it, I'm not apologizing. Yeah. That right. shit flew. Yeah, right. And right. I and it, there was a there was a myriad of times where I stopped from saying that, but this time That's you getting it. Yeah. And there's gonna be no there's gonna be no oh you know last night no no fuck that no right, that's right. what the fuck I meant right yeah. you know what I mean straight yeah. up. Yeah. So now the problem is when you say shit that you really don't you mean it, but you don't want the the the, the repercussions of what you mm -hmm. what you're saying. Because whatever you say got repercussions. Yes. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yes. You gotta be willing to fucking end that shit mm -hmm. when you say what the fuck you feel. Yeah, right. Some shit is fighting words. You gotta be Absolutely, ready. right? Yeah. So the, the thing I don't but the thing is though, fighting words are different to different people. Yeah. Like I like I always say, I always say to my uh, I'll say to my wife, y'all, I say, let me tell you something. If you get into an altercation in the streets, be, be, be prepared to go all the way. Because you have no idea who you get in an altercation right. with. Because yeah. people think they're gonna get in an altercation when it stops with them, it stops. No. Right. No, no, motherfucker. Most, sometimes, most times it will. Well, but you get I'm that going. one motherfucker not that going. said, oh, no, 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 we're not stopping here. No, no. no this, is not my, this is not my end. No. no. I'm just starting now. Right. No. And you're like, what do you mean? Right. Yeah, I, I, no, I'm, I'm good. Everybody's right. dying. Yes. That's, yeah. that's, I'm from that. Yeah. So I know, I know if, if, I, if I get into a, a scuffle that I'm going to commit to, you're going to have to see it through. It's I, funny. I talk about that a lot. Go ahead, man. No, maybe not a lot, but the, the, the point of view is this. I was prepared for this long, 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 long time ago. We mean, this we mean? This. War. Okay. This I've always been prepared for war. Like, are you, are you giving Just an example? Generally. Whatever it is, whether okay. it's if, a if fight, you, whether it's breaking up, whether like I am completely, like day one, I was prepared for this. I wasn't fighting for it, leaning towards it. I wasn't trying to lobby for it to happen. But you understand it's a possibility. But I was always prepared, right? That's interesting. So once we get to it, and, and it might be something I'm fighting against. Right. Like, I'm not trying to get into a fight with you. Right. I'm not trying to get into a fight with you. But it's like tug of war. If you're pulling stronger than I'm pulling, and next thing I know, I'm at the line. Yeah. Once I'm at the line, I am ready. <laughs> I was like, I didn't get here and now I got to figure out what to do. I always know what to do at that line. And I'm completely, comp like, completely prepared and committed. Once we're there, I'm, I am with it. I am with all of these shits. <laughs> and I was at day one. Like, that's the thing about it. Like, it's, it's the difference between people who think uh, because you're angry, you can fight. Oh, fuck. Don't, it, don't, it don't matter how mad you are. That don't mean that you can fight. Damn sure don't mean you can fuck me up. Like, I don't care how angry you are. Oh, yeah. yeah you know yeah. what I'm saying? That shit was in a moment. I've seen plenty of people be angry enough to get knocked the fuck out. Oh, yeah. Dude. You know what yeah. I'm saying? So, like, in these, like, situations, in these experiences, like, especially when in the relationship things, like, don't get... Don't get your, let your emotions get you in a place where you actually weren't ready to go. Absolutely. But that's what he's been saying all along yeah. between logic and emotion. And emotions. emotions, yeah. You come from an extremely logical place. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. yeah, like everything is X's and O's. Right, right. Yeah. Where mo you know, most people aren't that logical. Right. But 
to a, to an extent, most of us are kind of X's and O's. Right, right. Yeah, yeah. Because most we're taught right. that we, we right. kind of have to be that way. Yeah. And, you know, with a lot of women, they are not X's. And, well, they're X's and O's until the buttons get pushed. Mm-hmm. Right. Yeah, they can be really, really logical until you push the right button. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then all hell breaks loose. Um, yeah. I know some of the coolest people, females, once they get cool, once they get into a, a space, they will burn the whole shit down. Friendships, mm-hmm. relationships. Yeah. yeah, yeah the yeah, physical yeah, building. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, right, right. They will burn the motherfucker <laughs> yeah, 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 down. Right, right. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Nine times out of ten, the logical individual in their lives, whether it's a homie, whether it's a best friend, has to come and put the blocks back right. together. You know what the funny thing is? I, I think it's important for me to say this. I really feel, and I could be naive, I really feel life is a simple thing to live. Yeah, it is. Mm-hmm. Like, like, it's just a simple thing that, like, mm-hmm. I don't, I like, like, when, 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 when somebody say, like, like um, if you're in a relationship and you don't have a, a fight, you ain't fighting or arguing, there's something wrong. I can't stand, I, can't, I don't understand that, that state of mind. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Why the fuck we gotta be fighting? Right. We ain't gonna yeah. agree on everything, but why does a disagreement have to end up in a, in a fight? fight? Right, right. In a you fight. know what I mean? In a fight. I, I never understood that, yo, yo, if you, if, what, what, he always calm, he always calm, like, what, what, he don't get mad? Like, like one thing, was that my wife family had, you know, oh, Steve don't go around slamming doors when he get married? And she's like, no, he no. doesn't. For mm-hmm. what? Right. Fuck I'm slamming doors for? Like, I don't, listen, one thing I, I realized, you don't have to agree with me. Right. Like I like I don't like I think I'm a reasonably intelligent person. Mm-hmm. You agreeing with me does not prove that I'm reasonably intelligent. Right, right, right. And you disagree with me doesn't think make me think right. I'm stupid. Right, right. There's various ways to get to this location from wherever you start from. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. None of them are wrong. Right. Right? Right. Some of them are more efficient. Yes. Right. But none of them are wrong. Right. So just because I choose to take the short way and you choose to take the long way, I'm not calling you stupid. Right, right. A little inefficient. Right. But you're still gonna get here, right. fine. As long right. as you get here. Right. Another thing, I used to, because oh, I'm really passionate about when I'm talking about relationships and, and the whys and what, I talk to some of my, my dude friends, and, 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 and they be like, yo, Steve, ain't nobody perfect. Dude, why does it have to be perfect or fucked up? There's a variation yeah, of right. shit between right. perfect and fucked up. Right, 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 right. <laughs> what the fuck? I'm not saying perfection, but it ain't gotta be fucked up. Right, right. No. Like, I don't, like, like the way we, are programmed. I'm like, what the fuck? Dude, the old I get, I'm like, what the fuck are we doing? Yeah. You know what it what is? What are we doing? Because people equate happiness with how much misery they had to go through mm-hmm. to fucking get it. But, but, if you're, but if you're looking at the glass as half empty, you never see it as half full. But so you're I mean, never going to get to happiness. Because yeah. the thing is, even when you get into a happy space, you're going to be like, oh man, I ain't getting excited. This shit about to get fucked up right now. If mm-hmm. it don't get fucked up, you're going to do something to fuck it up. Right. Yeah, Just let that shit ride. Right. <laughs> Yo, I want to get your point of view on this. I had this like recent theory. Did I go off this shit? Did, theory. I go off the, did, I go off did I go off No, no, no. No. Okay. No. Because I felt that shit. I believe that we are all living the lives we want. Like everyone is living the life they want. Mm. Right? Interesting. And the, the reasoning behind it is this. <sighs> our lives are, are, the school of thought is this. Our lives are a reflection of our choices. Mm-hmm. Yes. Right? Our choices are in line with our desires. You mm-hmm. wanted a thing, so you chose, right? Okay. You wanted yeah. this car, so you chose that car. Mm-hmm. You mm-hmm. now are the owner of that car, mm-hmm. right? But the, under that layer of uh, desires is other desires. Like we have multiple desires mm-hmm. yeah. in every aspect of our lives. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But there are prevailing desires, and those are the ones that we make choices based on. Mm-hmm. So when you want to lose 30 pounds, but the prevailing desire is White Castle at two in the morning, not exercising, not drinking water. What you wanted was White Castle, no exercise and no water. You wanted that more. That was more prevailing, that was prevailing over losing 30 pounds. Whether it's money, whether it's relationships, whether it's health, like whatever it is. You want this life. Yes. Because you're not doing anything about changing that life. Right. Yeah, because no, you like you like these things. Like, there's a part of you. That, so, like in relationships, for example, like uh, if if somebody's in a relationship and it's a, a, a toxic relationship, or or if, if the other person is const- if you ever hear somebody constantly complaining or unhappy, constantly though, 
there is something in that recipe that's a reward for them. Yes. Like they, they want yeah. or need an aspect that like, yeah. it yeah. comes with it. You know what I'm saying? It's like yeah. party mix. It's like you, you want the Doritos no, no, that I, come I, with I totally pretzels and cheese doodles and da da da. I agree with that. Because if you didn't want it, you would make moves to change it. Right. Yes. Now we didn't say that you're happy with right. it. Right. But we said for some, for in some degree, yes. you want it. You're comfortable totally, in the shit. I totally yeah, agree. Yeah, yeah. Some people totally comfortable agree. sitting in their own yeah. diaper. I mean, I some people are comfortable. Some people yeah. are afraid. So, like, yeah. but right. there is a reason you're here. Right. Yeah. And 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 the reason is you. Yeah. Yes. Always. The reason Always. Is you. Yeah. Front and so center. The, so yeah, I totally agree with that. Uh, there is something about this space that you want to be in it because you're not doing anything mm -hmm. to change it. Mm -hmm. You're not even making small steps to change it. My problem mm. is now in the social media era, mm -hmm. it is so easy to vent. Mm -hmm. So now everybody's venting their life away. Right. You see what I'm saying? So now in a place where you can vent your life away, you don't have to do shit because venting is instant gratification. Right. So yeah, somebody gonna like your shit. Somebody gonna agree with your just shit. Period, you just got it out. It's like, I'm angry. I'm gonna tell the world I'm angry. I feel I, better. I, yeah. Nothing is changing. Right. But I'm angry. Yeah. I feel better. Right. Nothing is changing. I'm angry. Right. And then you wake up and it's five fucking years later. Right, right, you right. in the same relationship. You yep. at the same job. You doing the same shit. Yep, yep. You got the same friends. Yep. You're in the exact same space because you vented mm -hmm. your life away mm -hmm. and you didn't and you changed do nothing. Right. anything. And that's the problem. Mm -hmm. Right now, it's so easy to run to these motherfucking phones and everything mm -hmm. else that nobody is actually doing right. anything. Right, right, right. Agreed. Damn. Yeah, that's real shit. Real Agreed. Shit. I got enough friends that's in fucked up situations right. and all they do is post. I, I see the shit, I just be like, yeah. God damn. Yeah. And we still, we still here. Listen, yeah, yeah, man. yeah, yeah. Listen, man. I had I stopped posting on Facebook like eight years ago or mm -hmm. six years. Ago. I just, I'm just like, what? I, I, and all the pictures I have on there is because friends of mine say, "Yo, just post them." I like, dude, I don't want people seeing them. Just post them because I want to see them. All right, I post them. And after a while, I'm like, dude, what? Why do I care what other people think? I just want to live my life. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You don't, yeah. you don't need to see what I'm doing. You don't need to see where I'm at. Yeah. Yeah. You know yeah. I mean, and, and I didn't realize back then, back then that you could post them to. To just the people you wanted to see, I right. thought you just had to post them. Right, right, right. <laughs> you know what I mean? But it's a it's a thin line between sharing and bragging, and I think. But here's the thing about bragging: is it really like that if you got to brag about it? Uh, well, uh, see, to me, no. Yeah, like to like, me, no. Like 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 you know, I was watching this this show and they were talking about like you know this one character was saying to the other one, well you know everybody look like they're doing so well on social media, and then the other guy says, yo dude, everybody posts side A. On yeah, social media. man, it's the highlight nobody, reel. Nobody, nobody posts the back, the, the flip side of that it's shit. It's the highlight right. reel, right. man. It's bullshit. Somebody was asking me recently about like uh, Will Smith and Jada, talking about like you know, asked me what did I think about their relationship, and I'm like, I don't think anything. About I don't know. Yeah. Their yeah. relationship. I see what they talk about, and I mm -hmm. see how they you know speak about each other and speak about their growth with each other and all that. But I know that every time I saw something they were aware a camera was on. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. Like, yeah. every single time. Yeah. yeah. Well, I see that clip of Will say, saying to Jay that he said, yo, he's done trying to make people happy. You saw that clip? Yeah, yeah. He's, I was like, that shit was deep to me. He was, he was saying that he's done, he's done trying to make, like, like women happy or this happy. Mm -hmm. he, said, he, he said to Jay that, go prove to me that you could be happy so I know that motherfucker is possible. Mm -hmm. Because it, it doesn't matter what you do. Right, right. Like, that's, I don't understand. Like, it doesn't matter what you do, it's always, that's what I realize in female male relationships. Guys are simple. I say this all the time, guys are simple. If your favorite, if a chick favorite color is pink, I do buy you pink fucking everything. Pink flowers, pink teddy bear, just give me your shit, shut mm -hmm. the fuck up, let's just do some other shit, right? But then after all the pink shit, now all of a sudden you don't like pink no more. Now your shit is periwinkle. Now motherfucker gotta go research what periwinkle is. <laughs> Cause you don't like pink no more, right? All right. And you know, but well you gotta sauce it. They got more. No, you ain't gotta sauce shit up. There's so much more life to live. 
There's a lot of shit out there to do than being in this fucking cat and mouse shit, fucking yeah. around with what you want me to do. Cause I don't think I'm simple. <laughs> I'm simplest. Bro. I'm simple as hell. I'm simple. I'm oh, I'm simple Dude, as fuck. Peace of mind, bro. You ain't simple. You bougie. <laughs> Those are the only options. <laughs> you talking about the fuck Look at the fast, son. Look at the fast. I love he's only option. Look at the fast. Where we at? Where we at? Of course he's simple. I mean, oh, of shit. course he, he's the complex one sitting at the fucking table. Look, look. No, we're going to have to wrap this up. We're going to have to wrap this up. <laughs> All right, cool. Let's get it. Yo, yo Doe. What's up, cuz? <laughs> we gotta do you got we gotta do this again. Uh, yeah, I, ain't, I ain't get enough. I ain't yeah. get enough. Yeah. No, 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 I ain't get enough though. But we need we need, yo, actually, we didn't even get into what I thought we was gonna get into. Oh wow. We stayed on the fringe of shit. I thought we was really That's Oh, we got thought. time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, no, we know for the next time. For, yeah, yeah, yeah. Cause you gotta get up out of here. Yeah. Listen, it's gonna be like a whole catalog of like oh, Doughboy yeah, episodes. Yo, I could be like Lord Jamar on the flat TV. <laughs> yeah, yeah, right, right. <laughs> yo, son. Son. So I want to thank y'all for coming, hey. um, watching the show. Before we go, yeah. where, the, oh, yeah, where yeah, can yeah, the people dope, find dope. you? Oh, wow. Yeah. Okay, you can find me. Let's just do social media sites. Everything at Jersey Doughboy. Uh, you can find me, talktodoughboy.com is the website. Talktodoughboy.tumblr.com uh, mm-hmm. is the blog site. Mm-hmm. I'm pretty much everywhere. I'm still gigging. Catch me at a strip club near you, a club near you. Catch my name on some girl's ass on some booty shorts. You know, <laughs> it, 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 it's everywhere. Uh, you can check out my musical project, mm-hmm. the Doughboy Project. That's on all streaming and media sites: mm-hmm. Amazon, Tidal, Spotify, Apple Music, YouTube, all of that. You know, right. I ain't hard to find. You can just holler at one of them; they'll they'll find me. I ain't hard to find. It, it was an extreme honor and pleasure to have my man Indeed. as a guest. And listen, we gotta we gotta run this back, man. Okay, let's we gotta go. run this back. This this is this this, this we gotta run. Cause I ain't even I ain't even I ain't even warm up, man. I'm, I'm yeah, like right? son. Yeah. Yo, get the camera. But listen, out. we gotta get him out of here. He got a gig to go to. But listen, this is the Steven Starsky show. I'm Steve. I'm Starsky. This is our very special guest, Doe Boy. Oh, yes, and sir. thank you so much for coming through. Yeah. See you next time. See you next time. Peace. Peace. Oh, life in a ding dong. If I could take you up in boom boom boom,